The Consumer Council has warned people who wish to paint their nails to carefully study the ingredients of the polishes first. That's after the watchdog found that 7 in 10 products it tested contained carcinogens already banned in Europe, and customs are now following up, Joanna Ho reports. Many people attach great importance to beauty, but sometimes the price they pay extends beyond monetary terms. With Sokov gel nail polishes becoming popular, the Consumer Council tested 25 products on the market and made a shocking recovery. 17 were detected with one or more harmful substances banned by the European Union because they are deemed carcinogenic. Naphthalene, which the watchdog regarded as one of the most dangerous contaminants, was found in 13 samples. These three models contained formaldehyde, an ingredient that can harden the nails for easier manicure work but could cause allergic skin reactions and increase the risk of miscarriage for pregnant women. As such, the EU has already banned formaldehyde in cosmetic products since 2019. Meanwhile, all samples were tested with the toxic substance toluene, although they were all within levels permitted by the EU. But the council warned the chemical could irritate users' eyes and respiratory tract and even damage the liver and the nervous system for prolonged exposure. As a general rule, it urged consumers to stop using the products if they experience discomfort and let their nails recover every two to three months by not painting anything. On a side note, the watchdog realized eight models did not specify their ingredients, while 18 lacked usage instructions. Right now, we don't have any specific regulations about uh, product labeling um, in uh, cosmetic uh, items. And if necessary, probably, you know, uh, we have to assess, you know, whether certain regulations you know, should be imposed about uh, the product labeling. But as a responsible trader, uh, you should present as many information as possible for the consumers to make an informed choice. Customs are now following up on the council's test results. Joanna Ho, HKIBC.